In this video, I would like to explain how Gauss's law can be very useful to finding the electric field strength for a spherical shell. In the image, we can see a spherical shell. It means a hollow ball. It's nothing more than that. Imagine a tennis ball with nothing inside it. So the thickness here is very small. If we give this a positive charge, all the positive charges will accumulate on the outer surface. You can see the plus signs on the outside. And the flux lines and the electric field, shown by red arrows, will emanate radially outwards from such a spherical shell. If the charge is negative, the lines will go inwards towards the center. Now, we take a Gaussian surface, which is shown on the right hand side. It's a white colored sphere. It's just a surface. It's not a solid sphere. And we take that Gaussian surface and we want that radius of this Gaussian surface to be larger than the outer radius of the spherical shell. With this, we want to enclose all the charges. We have done that now and we have wrapped the Gaussian surface around the spherical shell. We can see that all the plus signs are inside the Gaussian surface. So Gauss's law condition has been met. The charges enclosed, it said, should be inside the Gaussian surface. And the field lines, the red arrows, are going outwards through every area of the Gaussian sphere. Note the word area. So surface area has got many small parts. The field lines go through each and every one of them. We now draw a schematic of the shell and the Gaussian surface around it. So the shell has got a radius r, small r, and the Gaussian surface has a radius capital R, big radius. Now there are two cases, the electric field inside the spherical shell and the electric field outside the spherical shell. Now first let's look at inside the spherical shell. There is no charge inside the hollow shell. All the charges are accumulated on the outer surface as we saw before. Therefore, if there is no charge, there is no flux. And if there is no flux, there is no electric field. Gauss's law is fully obeyed. So this is a simple situation. We now derive the equation for the electric field outside the spherical shell. The field is passing through the Gaussian surface, which has a surface area 4 pi capital R whole squared. We should be very careful where we are using capital R and where we are using small r. Now the flux phi as per Gauss's law is equal to Q into 1 by epsilon 0, where the charge Q is something which we put on the inner shell, not on the Gaussian surface. The inner shell has a radius smaller, so we have to be very careful. Also, the flux phi is equal to the electric field E into surface area A of the Gaussian surface. So if we take E for the Gaussian surface, surface area also we should take for the Gaussian surface. So in this case, the flux phi passing through the Gaussian surface is equal to E into 4 pi capital R whole square. So if we equate flux and flux, we will get E into 4 pi capital R whole squared is equal to Q into 1 by epsilon 0. So combining that, we will get the electric field E for the Gaussian surface is equal to Q into 1 by epsilon 0 into 4 pi capital R whole squared. This is how you derive the equation for the electric field outside the spherical shell. Now, we have to get familiar with the concept of charge density. Because it's a spherical shell, the charge Q put on the inner spherical shell is equal to charge density into surface area A. The charge density is applicable for the charged shell. Therefore, the A, the area A, is also that area applicable to the charged shell, which is 4 pi small r whole square. Therefore, Q is equal to 
sigma into 4 pi small r whole squared, not 4 pi capital R whole squared. By mistake, if you put q is equal to sigma into 4 pi capital R whole squared, suddenly you would have artificially increased the charge that was put initially, which is not correct. So if you substitute for q into the equation of the previous slide, you will get electric field E as sigma into small r whole squared divided by epsilon 0 into capital R whole squared because pi and pi cancel. I hope this video was uh, useful for you. Uh, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, do log in to my website, Physics Models. Uh, can download the app and uh, have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.